เออ brother เออ what's that what's that brother alright alright I know what you're thinking but hear me out the last COD video we've done on this channel was like four months ago when Modern Warfare 3 was in beta which in real time was just a massive insult the fuck this needed a beta for? They tried their best to pretend like this was a whole other game. What level of gaslighting did they even try to attempt with that? Not gonna lie, wasn't feeling it. I even went as far to say I wasn't buying this. And I kept my promise. I didn't. Bud bought it for me. I'll say this. It's okay. It's for damn sure not worth it at this current price point. This is a glorified DLC. This is that Overwatch 2 nonsense all over again. Same shit, new label. If you take anything from this video, take this. Listen to your fellow consumers. Don't have that fear of missing out, okay? You're not missing anything. People got a bad habit of thinking once a new thing comes out, you just have to drop the old for the new. How many of y'all know someone that just has to get the latest iPhone every time it drops when there's barely any upgrades? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to play the other two games and compare it to this one. Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2, and this new game, if you have to call it that, whatever. COD got this thing, right, where when they drop a new installment, in comparison, you'll be like, I guess the last COD wasn't that bad after all. But in all fairness, when every installment is on a decline, of course it looked that way in reverse. But whatever, let's get to it. We're gonna have some fun. Damn, it's been five years? Yeah, what a time went. Oh, okay, damn, they haven't had an update in this shit since 2022. Let's see what past Ratchet was on. What does loadouts look like? Okay, the SPR, that's what I'm talking about. Probably, arguably, the best sniper rifle that's not a sniper rifle in this game. But I'm not a rapper. Oh. Obviously, we gotta have some kind of girly looking gun because a grown man needs to do that. Apparently, I have some weird attachment to that rainbow uh, watch. Promise that's not a statement, guys. It's just... Speaking of, bro, LGBTQ fuck rainbows up for me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's not fair. Rainbows used to be one of my favorite things as a kid. Now it's just, <laughs> if you wear this, you like a penis. It's not fair, bro. Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Okay. See, my favorite gun in any Call of Duty is any gun that looks like AK. Hands down. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the AK in every one of these trilogies and see which one I like the best. This, okay, since I had Team Deathmatch selected, we're just going to play TDM. Let's go. Azir K? Fuck no. Nah. nah, I'm not playing on that map as soon as I get here. Hell no, that map's ass. I don't remember too much about this game, but I, I definitely remember the stain I felt on that. There we go. De thank you, Rust. I'll say this, the colors are a little muted. This is not as vibrant as, as in like the newer ones. Yo, my team is getting smashed on, bro. Why do I got all the brain dead people on my team, bro? What the fuck? Damn, bro, there's only but so much I could do with my whole team ass. Holy shit. That wasn't the most amazing comeback. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a couple more games because I don't want to get off on I don't want to get off on one match and that just be like the ass experience I get. You know, something I would like to point out. Granted, this game do got their fair share of ridiculous skins. Most of the skins in this game is very military driven. I like that a lot. It just feels a little more realistic. You know, you might got your, you know, you, your little cosplayer here or there. But it feels just more real. Team Deathmatch. Did they put the sweats on my team finally? Okay, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that sweat was in the last game. He's with me now. Come on, my little pony. Let's go. This game still feels pretty active. There we go. Bitch. Now we're having a better time now. Too close. No, that might end it. Wow. That close of a match? What? Yeah, that's a second L on this game. All right, that's enough 2019. All right, let's just open Call of Duty. Now, what's the funny part about this? This isn't even a different game, so it opens the same exact way. So you just open up Call of Duty, and you have access to Modern Warfare 2 and 3 in this one app because they're not a different game. Post-edit Ratchet here. I got to pause it because I just got to break this down even more for you just so because I feel like you need to get what I'm saying here. So on computer, you need to download a launcher to download a launcher to play the game. And in order to play Modern Warfare 2, I have to download a launcher, to download a launcher, to open a game, to open another game, just to play Modern Warfare 2. That's what's happening. 
That's fucking stupid, man. The only thing that feels different about Modern Warfare 3 is the movement. And it's just like they enabled faster movement. That's all it feels like. And you have access to a different amount of guns, but everything feels and looks the same. Let's see if I'm tripping or not. Because maybe I'm maybe I'm remembering Modern Warfare 2 a little different. See, look, we're in Modern Warfare 3, right? Now check it out. It's going to call it Call of Duty Headquarters. Because they're going to say like, okay, this is the hub. If you start here. You can branch off to any game that you desire. <laughs> I want to go to Mall Warfare 2. So it's down here. So let's open it up. Look, initiating the launch process. It, sure. Look at this. Look at this. Why is it closing the game to open another game and they have the same insult? That makes no sense to me. That's pretty dumb. I might be ignorant to the inner workings of video games, but ain't no way this is a whole other game. It was more of a chore to open this game on PC than it probably ever would be on console. I'll say that. Now, something that this game has that Modern Warfare 3 doesn't is the weapon tuning. When you finally max out your guns in this game, you're able to just, you know, these settings here. That was one of the cooler aspects of this game that I liked a lot. Now, when I have a gun, I want it to be able to ADS quick. I want it to be able to shoot far and I want to be able to move a lot when I'm using it. And that's what I expect my assault rifles to be. And I tuned this bad boy up to do that. And I'm going to see how good this shit works now. See if this game is as good as I remember it. Oh, hell no. Alright, one thing Modern Warfare 3 did right. Map voting. I don't give a fuck if some of these maps don't get picked. Give me the option. I like Farm 18. I'm okay with this map. <laughs> really wanted to play with Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to miss out this round. Got the weight of a thousand suns on her cheeks. Where's my gun? No way. What? What the fuck? I just built that. What a nigga, where my gun at? Wow. No way. Damn, I got a remake and whole nother gun, man. What the fuck? Let me use my gun. What the fuck? Nigga, I can see her holding it. Bro, what the fuck is this? All right, let's see what let's see if I got to remove something. Let's move the foregrip. Is it the foregrip? That's the only thing that I didn't customize myself. It might have been cuz I had the pro tune on it still maybe. That's odd though. We'll ignore it. AK's never fail me in games, bro. Love it. Get that shit the fuck out there, bitch. I don't know why y'all just shoot that shit down in the first place. It doesn't even take half a mag to shoot it down, so just shoot it down. I'm actually liking this way better than Modern Warfare 3, bro. I why. You can even call it a different game. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That felt satisfying. That AK felt pretty damn good. I don't know why the fuck I couldn't use it initially, but it felt pretty good. What all these games got in common is them shaders. You ain't doing shit unless you let them shaders finish. You gonna have to have some patience when launching this the first time. And when you uninstall and reinstall this game, you're gonna go through that every time. I've been playing this recently, so we already have a AK build over here. And it's pretty much similar to what I was using beforehand, except I got, you know, Nicki Minaj's suppressor, man of culture so i have to have you know anime chick on the side of my gun this it's like mandatory i'll even go a step further and be very vain and put the character i'm playing with on the side of my gun because you have to you have to know what's better than one anime chick two anime chicks <laughs> predictability that's what call of duty needs to return to is just predictable maps i don't like these huge maps i need like mid-sized maps where you can actually think Cause up on small maps, you really can't, you really don't have much time to think because you're up in the next engagement immediately. That just takes the, the thought process out of this game. If you approach every match thinking, I know that sounds crazy, but people just, they turn their brains off when they play shooting games like this. But if you actually just think, you'll do better. If you see a person is camping all the time with a sniper rifle, how about not run down a whole ass football field to try to get to them? People got fucking egos. They ego push too hard. It's kind of crazy how good at this game you could be if you just utilize 1% of your brain capacity. How <laughs> about as stupid as it gets, bro? Because I just said something about brain capacity and I didn't even use the build that I just showed you.
<laughs> so, ignore it. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to keep people away from the hard point, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay like midway through because I gotta cross over here to get there. Look, look, see, he ego took that. There's no point in ego taking fights, bro. Don't do it. My teammates are holding up Jacob, so I don't need to run in. Protect them. See? Them niggas are gonna be paying attention to the point. I'm not just defending the objective inside, I'm defending on the outside. These niggas can't outgun me. But they got teammates more willing to throw themselves in the line of fire than me. I guess I'll hold the point a little bit. I'm trying to keep him back. He gotta open that door to get in here. Let's go, see? That was me! I did that! Me and Hen Dog. Let's go, Hen Dog! Come on, man! These niggas ain't thinking! These niggas ain't thinking! This is my takeaway. Modern Warfare 2019, it's pretty good. But I, I am feeling the date on it. I'm feeling the age on it now. Modern Warfare 2 was a pretty good upgrade from 2019. I actually liked Modern Warfare 2. A lot. I had a more fun time with Modern Warfare 2 initially than I ever did on 2019. It took me some time to get into 2019 because coming from like three lane car to that shit was very annoying. I'll say that, but it grew on me. I had to understand how the maps work, but I mean, that's what comes with any game. You just gotta, there's a learning curve. Moving on from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3, ain't that really much of a difference other than the movement. Movement and a couple new guns. If you see this game on sale, it'd be worth picking up. But as of right now, it's not worth picking up. Especially seeing, let's see the price of, especially it's still being like CD keys and shit for $57. But it's still being $70, even with the disses it got. I find it crazy how the reviews for this game are doing well on websites like GameStop and when you search it up, right? On obvious websites where you can kind of just lie. If you were to check Steam, a place where people actually talk about it. I got Levi comment there. That's hilarious. But most of the shit, I'm seeing more negativity. Yeah, so Call of Duty is going to Call of Duty. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you joining me. See you the next one. Tennis hanging out the glizzy, bro. Go watch the door. I'm finna write a song. I'm trying to run up all the benches. Struggle to succeed. I put my niggas on. Loyalty run through my blood. If I call you my nigga, then it's right or wrong. Never let the money blind you. Stay up on your mission. Keep one in the dome.